Hello everybody, I'm here with a quick lighting tutorial for Daz Studio. This is how to use uh, primitives to light your scene. Um, I prefer using uh, primitives with emissive textures because it gives a little bit more realistic lighting scatter and it's a little bit easier to place than using spotlights or point lights which don't always create the greatest lighting effects. So um, as you can see, I already have my scene uh, set up. I've got my model, she's dressed, her textures are ready to go. Um, let me go ahead and go into eye ray view just so we can get a quick idea of what this is going to look like uh, before we apply our new lighting system. All right, so not terrible lighting, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. So first of all, we're going to do a little bit of setup. We're going to remove all the lights from the scene. So um, let me go to render settings, and I'm going to go down to, actually first let me change my uh, aspect ratio to portrait mode. There we go. Fix my height back to 1920. All right. And the first thing, I'm, next thing I'm going to do is go to environment, and it's set to render dome and scene by default. So we're going to do scene only. So that's going to get rid of all the lighting, everything except for our model and everything we put in there manually. So you can see it goes completely dark, which is what we want for right now. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is go to create, and we're going to create new primitive. And we're going to create a plane, and we'll just leave it at the defi default size and dimensions. We can change that in a moment if we choose to. Actually, also while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and create another camera. Instead of using perspective view. And we'll get that set up where we want it. There we go, that looks good. Okay, and you also want to be sure that you go to your camera and be sure the headlamp is off. I believe that I have my headlamp turned off in environment, but I like to do that anyway just to make sure. Um, sometimes I'll use the headlamp while I'm setting up a scene uh, while it's dark like this, but always be sure you turn it off um, uh, before, you, uh, before you do your render. All right, I'm gonna go back to perspective view. If I pan around, Let's go back to texture shaded also. There we go. And you can see the um, the plane that it created in the default position. If you have trouble finding it, you can just go up here to uh, your uh, scene hierarchy and you can find a plane there and it'll show you where it is. And so we're gonna set this up as our light source. So I'm gonna start by kind of moving it into position. So what I'm going to go for with this render is kind of a kind of a bathed in moonlight sort of thing. Um, so this is going to be our moon. It doesn't have to be really far away, but um, we're just going to kind of angle it down and from the front a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little bit in front of our model. And then we're going to tilt it down so it hits at an angle. And tilt it in just a little bit. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Tilt it in just a little bit. So we're going to hit a certain angle. And that'll be a good starting point. We can readjust that in a moment if we need to. Tilt that a little bit more. There we go. All right, so now we've got to set up our lighting texture on our, um, on our primitive. So we're going to select our plane. We're going to go to our Surfaces tab and select Plane here under Currently Used. And then we're going to go to Presets. Under Presets, we're going to go to Shaders, Eye Ray, and we're going to select Emissives and use our Emissive Shader. I'll go ahead and double click that. And I've got my, I'm not sure if my plane is backwards or not, but we'll fix that. All right, now we're going to go back to Editor. And sometimes the um, it accidentally I accidentally put my um, plane facing the wrong direction, so I'm going to go ahead and turn two-sided light on just to make sure. And I'm going to go back to our camera, camera one, 
and go back to iRay view and this is going to give us a good idea of kind of where our light is hitting and uh, then we're going to we're going to finish that up all right so you can kind of see the light hitting our model just a little bit so the first thing we're going to do is to ramp up our luminance and that's going to increase the lighting effect so i'm just going to bump that up quite a bit and now we can kind of start to see that taking effect. So already it's gotten kind of a kind of an orangish glow to it. This might make a good like you know sunset or a sunrise scene. Uh, I'm gonna keep bumping that up some more. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna change that light to more of a white light uh, by bumping up my emission temperature. Um, I recommend experimenting with the emission temperature to get the exact effect that you want. Now I played around with this a lot, and I find that I get the best effect at around 5200. I was going to punch that in manually and there it changes to more of a white light so we get more of an accurate representation of the um, color of our skin texture. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and change my emission color and that's going to give us this kind of moonlight effect and I'm going to look for kind of a light blue. So we'll go to right there. Hit OK. And there we go. Now we've got kind of a kind of a moonlit glow uh, look to our model. So just a little bit darker than I'd like. So I'm going to move my. Uh, you could probably bump up your um, luminance a little bit. I'm going to try moving my lighting source a little bit closer though. Go back to his perspective view and move this a little bit closer, and that'll make for a more dramatic lighting effect. There we go. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and bump up the luminance until I get my desired effect. There we go. So I've settled in right around 55,000 on luminance. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there for right now. I believe that that is. Um, yeah, it's pretty much what I'm looking for. Again, it just kind of looks like the moonlight's hitting her from the le from her left side, and the right side is kind of still in the shadow just a little bit, kind of a nice, mysterious uh, lighting effect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and render this, and in just a moment, we'll uh, take a look and see what the final product looks like. <laughs> 